Hello everyone, Andy at Westport Machine Works here. Today we're going to use the stroboscope to balance this two-piece shaft. It's just a 1310 series shaft, nothing in particular, but we'll be utilizing the center bearing support here. And uh, for reference on the center bearing support, what I did was I numbered the ears on the slip. There's one, a one, two, three, and four. And that's, that's how we'll uh, reference using the strobe where to place the weights. And uh, the head and tail stocks already have the uh, laser engraved degree markings. So we'll see those and know where to place the weights. Okay, let's get her turned on. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is zero out the dial indicator. So put them to zero where they're fluttering. Zero to fluttering towards the positive. So this one's about two or three. And the center bearing here is close to eight. And the tail, same as the head, two or three. So we're going to work on this center bearing first since it's the uh, it's the worst at about eight thousandths okay we're gonna set that make sure that's on zero fluctuating towards the high and we're gonna activate the strobe and it's about in the middle of the eight thousand there so we're gonna rotate this around I have it going around two or three rpm and it's up towards the high now, it's coming down towards the low. And we'll let it circle back around here once it gets to the high. Uh, then we'll stop it on the strobe here. And right about there, looks to be about eight. Stop it there. And if we look at the drive shaft, It's right on number two. Camera is very difficult to see this, but by your, with your eye, you can see it clear as day. So there it is, number two. Um, that's where we're going to place the weight. Okay, so being that it was uh, around eight thousandths, I'm going to use the number six, and I believe this is a uh, number four weight. I'm going to put them right there on that number two. Okay, so now we've gotten that down to around two. We'll move on to the head and the tail stock. Okay, the head stock's only about two to three. So uh, again, we'll just we'll just rotate it around to show you. It's coming down towards the zero now. And now it's coming back up to the high. Right about there, we'll stop it there. And that's giving us uh, 270 degrees. So let's stop and place our weight there. Okay, so uh, here's 270 degrees. So we'll place our weight in line with that. And now we're oh one one and a half on the on the head end. So let's move to the tail. Okay, the tail's a good uh, three, three and a half. And 
and we'll go ahead and rotate that one around. There you can see it's on that high right now. And the needle's coming down to the zero where we set it. And I'll speed this up a little bit faster. Now it's coming back. Slow it down. Somewhere right around there looks to be about three. And that's lining up on our zero on the laser mark. And we'll go ahead and place our weight now on the zero. 45, here we go. Here's our zero. And now you can see the dial indicator is just barely moving around one, one and a half.